What's up everyone? I'm going to the LA Fit Expo. It's basically a convention all pertaining to fitness related products. It'll be full of influencers and bodybuilders, which is not really my scene. However, I'm curious what products there are that I'm missing out on because I don't use much equipment. I'm all about minimalism. I do like to know what nifty products there are. It will be cool. Maybe I'll run into Ronnie Coleman. I don't know. It'll be crazy to see him how massive these guys look in real life. You know, I'm not into supplements and stuff. I'm sure people will be peddling all that. Oh, and my brother will be there. So he'll be the cameraman, hopefully. Look guys, I forgot my umbrella. Right, I'm in. I'm in. Discover more ways to save me. Allesthetic. Sweet sweat. This is essentially a waxy lotion that you apply to your skin and they're saying it helps you sweat more and because it makes you sweat more you burn more calories and lose more fat but there's no evidence that sweating more results in more calories burned so be warned of this bullshit don't bullshit me bullshit 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 let's go baby yeah, these guys don't have body dysmorphia issues at all. What's this dragon slayer business? You just wave that shit around? I mean, you can't do that in a home. This dragon slayer thing is uh, gigantic. It's a gigantic piece of wood. I don't ever see myself using it. Do you? This girl's like, I finally found a place to do yoga. All right, so this guy just paid 20 bucks and he'll win 100 bucks if he can hang for 100 seconds. The trick here is that this is a rotating bar, so it's really deceiving and difficult. So he's bending his elbows. What he should do is start with his elbows bent and never try to adjust his grip. He's doing great. Oh my God, 26 seconds. Though. No! He had only 22 seconds left. Um, I don't know if I should try this. Armand, do you want to try it? Yeah. My brother will try it. Hey, Jarvis. How you doing, bro? Hey, man, good. How are you? Excellent. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. Are you going or is he going? I, I, I know he was thinking about it. I just had a baby uh, for my first child. He's almost three months old and I haven't been training. But he might go, my brother might go. No. My brother's gonna go for it. Which one of the brothers is paying? Are you funding him? Yeah. If he wins, he, he gets 100 back, he makes 80, all right? So all you have to do is underhand grip or overhand grip. No mixed grips, no chalk. We found a calisthenics section. This is awesome. It's just like, you know, gymnastics, but it's freestyle. Anything goes. They, everyone has their own artistic flair to it. You've seen videos of people doing things like this all the time. This guy's doing a handstand push up, and the guy on the left in the back is doing a one arm pull up. Woo! Nice one. 
Front lever roll to front lever. Muscle up, press. Really strong. That'll nice. clench. Nice. It's good his knees didn't eat shit. Dort. Oh, here we go. Kip up. Nice foot on the bar. That was sexy. Nice 360 spin. Nice. That's so much fun. Basket swing. Sweet. Oh, he's going on the parallel bars. Swinging. Swinging to handstand. Really clean. Into a one arm handstand. Ooh, coming in too hot. This is the Duonamics food. I love Duonamics pull up bars. They have portable. Pull up bars to say hi. Jack, yeah, what's up, you, man? man? Nice to see you. you. Thanks for coming by. Yeah, dude, of course. Thanks for having yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, get people to do the challenge. Nice. Hope what is some units? What is the challenge? So we got three, two challenges. Pull up challenge, push up challenge, dead hang challenge. No, I'm gonna try some uh, push ups on the rings just for kicks. Yeah, we got the bottom push right now. Two. Yo, we got the bottom. What's your Instagram? Okay. You know the choice winning everything. Isn't that the only way? I like it. Oh, hard, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just to show. Lock it out, lock it out, lock it out, lock it out. Uh, cool. Come on. Hey. Thank you. Great job, man. Thanks. Can you get a picture with you? Sure. Take a picture for us. Thanks for all the support, man. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll let you know when we have the, the band. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm looking forward to that. All right, Armand, you just got to beat my 15. <laughs> but if you want to beat the record, you gotta be 43. Nice lockout. What, what's he at? 22. Nice, dude. Dude, you got 22. That's really good. You're looking pumped. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A little slack board for the kids. And then you have to tap the foot. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, oh, that's cool. It's called gift board. This gift board is basically a slack line attached to a piece of wood that looks like a snowboard. This was very easy for me because I've been cyclining for 15 years. And overall, I found it to be nice because it's fairly small and portable, so it could fit anywhere. But I also thought the short length of it was very limiting and because of that, I could tell I would get bored of this board quickly. It's probably best for kids since there's no setup required and it takes little space. Overall, a pretty cool, innovative idea. This is the 100 second hang challenge. You can hang for 100 seconds, you get 100 bucks. So all you have to do, underhand grip or overhand grip. No mix grip, no chop. Mm. What is everybody in the crowd from? Do you think he's gonna get it? It's turn one, everybody. He's coming up on the halfway mark. He is halfway right now, 50 seconds remaining. From biceps are shaking right now. Oh, 44 seconds. All right, so you made it, 56 seconds. The most important question of them all, was it worth the 20 bucks? 
I mean, especially like my brother James. So, of course, you're <laughs> was it worth it? Sure. Uh, it was worth it. Good job, man. Nice job. Thank you for trying. Ooh. Dave's not chicken, it's cauliflower instead of chicken. So you're getting all protein. <laughs> all right, we just left the LA Fit Expo and we're just gonna give our takeaway thoughts. Armand, what do you think? Yeah, we saw a lot of things. It was a really wide variety of like everything from nutrition to like gym equipment, home gym equipment, to martial arts, to bodybuilding. Um, all sorts of things. Yeah, a lot of, uh, I mean, there was like a physique bodybuilding competition and it was honestly disturbing a little bit because you know those people do not do not look like that and they feel like shit today in particular leading up to this competition because it's unnatural to be less than 5% body fat. Anyway, and then there's a lot of like nutritious food. It's processed foods like pre-workouts and supplements. Not a natural diet, but dieting to perform or look a certain way. Yeah, and it's, you know, it kind of displays like not the best set of values, right? When it comes to having like real long-term health or just like feeling consistently good in your body and not, you know, chasing highs and lows and, and whatnot and yeah. Yeah, there was not like anything about pain management or, you know, of course, it's not a physical therapy expo, but still, you know, most people just want to feel good you know there wasn't even like a yoga booth for example it's i guess it's not that kind of convention overall i was hoping that there would be more interesting products but a lot of things were very gimmicky and not revolutionary because there doesn't need to be anything revolutionary i mean simple exercises are often the best I did like that there was, you know, there was Muay Thai, weightlifting, there was a calisthenics area, dance class, and that just goes to show that really it doesn't matter what you do, it's more so what you find fun, right? What you find enjoyable, and that's the most important thing. You know, fitness, there's no right answer, it's just very personal endeavor and your goals might change every few years and it's good to dabble in all the different arts. Yeah, and we, and you know, we saw a lot of examples. We saw a lot of like, you know, very well-known influencers, more of like the bodybuilding type. I don't know how desirable it is really to like be on steroids and, <laughs> and just be massive with lots of muscles and I don't know, questionable use of them or ability of them, right? just kind of shows a lot of it like how much the fitness is oriented around aesthetics right because it's like we have our bodies right they're they're meant for, to allow us to to do amazing things to experience the world in amazing ways and and it's a shame to see it all just kind of like whittled down to appearance and achieving certain status or like a level of attention maybe on social media because there was a lot of influencer action happening here. So overall, I didn't find the expo to be enlightening in any particular way. I didn't expect it to be, but it just reinforced that learning to cook yourself, learning to eat foods, learning to find exercises that you genuinely find enjoyable, not for status and fame and aesthetics as much, but for capability and hobby aspect and your body being a reflection of your own capabilities generally the way to go as far as I'm concerned it's a simpler way of life that is what will get you through the decades because a lot of people you see they're doing these things and they're in their 20s and 30s but you don't see people in their 40s 50s 60s at this expo you want to have longevity you want to think in the long term you want to be able to have a proper diet that's sustainable you're not reaching for a pre-workout full of 200 milligrams of caffeine. You know, you're, you're doing things in a sensible way. Yeah, and, and fun fact, uh, you saw me doing some push-ups and whatnot in this video. And I actually had to ask Anto at one point, what is pre-workout? Oh yeah, he yeah, didn't know, I what, didn't know what that was. I'm like, dude, it's like caffeine, taurine. <laughs> and there was a lot of testosterone and pre-workout in that convention center. 
It, well, you could smell it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I hope this was interesting. It was a first time for us, and I don't think we'll be back. Who knows? <laughs> but, you know, at least show this side of the world that we don't expose ourselves much to. And a uh, shout out to Duonamic, helping people do bodyweight fitness everywhere, which is awesome. It's nice seeing them in person. So, yeah. Yeah. Let me know what you thought of this in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye. See ya. <laughs>